Welcome back! In our last video, we touched on your first meeting with the script. We also talked a little bit about characterization, analyzing your character, or just knowing who you are as a character. Today, we're going to be talking about how to find your goal, or objective. Let's get started. What is an objective? An objective is what the character wants to accomplish. What a character wants will affect how they behave. It will affect their interactions, and it will affect the decisions that they make. There are two types of objectives. The minor objective, which lasts the length of a scene, and the super objective, which lasts the length of the play. Since we've been using the lightning thief over the course of our study, what would we say that Percy's objective is in the first chapter of the book? Now remember, this would be a minor objective. What would Percy's objective be over the entire story? Before we answer those questions, I'm going to give you 10 things that every objective needs to have. Number one, it must be rooted in someone else. Now for a minor objective, this is usually your scene partner. When we build an objective for Percy, we have a few options. Let's just look at the first chapter again. We have Grover, we have Mrs. Dodds, Mr. Brunner, and Nancy Bobafit. So when building Percy's objective for this scene, it must be rooted in one of those characters. Number two, it must be specific. You can't use vague words or words that are more internal understand, imagine, feel. Those are dead-end action words. There's nothing to build on top of if we consider that to be our objective. So your objective wouldn't be, I feel like I want, because there's nothing that you, there's nowhere to go with that. Number three, it has to be possible to reach. What that means is that it must be rooted in the world. Percy's objective is not going to be to go to a better school because that's not possible for him at this time. Number four, it has to be difficult to reach. If your character's objective is easily obtainable, then there's no reason to keep watching. There's no payoff to the action. The character needs something to work towards, and the audience needs something to be able to root for. If your objective is clear, then the audience will go insane every time something gets in the way of that. Number five, it has to cover the whole scene. If they achieve their goal halfway through the scene, then again, why should the audience keep watching? There's nothing else for them to do. For a minor objective, it should be accomplished at the end of the scene. That's why it's the minor objective. The super objective can be worked towards through the entire show. It should go from scene to scene. Number six, there has to be a sense of urgency. This means that there is some sort of time limit placed upon your objective. And if you don't reach the objective within that time limit, then something bad is going to happen. Maybe we don't exactly know what, but we can feel that this is a very serious situation and that will make the audience root for you even more. This ties into the next aspect. Number seven, there has to be consequences of not reaching that objective. Say your parents tell you to clean your room and they give you an hour to clean your room. What will happen if you don't clean your room in that time? Well, nothing good. It's very similar when looking at character objectives. What are some consequences Percy could face if he doesn't reach his goal? Number eight, it has to be physical, not just mental. Now, there is something to be said for internal goals versus external goals. An internal goal is something that you want. However, an internal goal is not the same thing as an objective. An objective must be physical. 
so I want to get a glass of milk from the fridge. That is a physical action that I can do. Now the internal goal that may be feeding that is I'm thirsty, but that is not my objective. My objective is going to get a glass of milk. Number nine, it must be positive. When building your objective, you do not want to use words such as not, no, or never. Phrasing your goal in a more positive way will add more motivation to reach it and it will make the audience want you to achieve that goal even more. And finally, number 10, it must be phrased in a simple sentence. One sentence is all you get. This helps us to really focus in on what our character truly wants. Now, they can have an entire paragraph of internal wants, but their physical objectives need to take up one sentence. Now that we've gone through our 10 things that an objective must have, let's try to build one for Percy. Again, we're just going to be focusing on chapter one. Also, while we're building our objective, let's use I statements because in this moment, we are Percy. Here's an example. I will not get into a fight. Now, is that a good objective for Percy in this scene? We know that Percy wants to avoid conflict, but is the phrasing, I will avoid a fight, something that fits all of the 10 criteria? No, I don't think so. First of all, it uses the word not. Second, it's not very specific and it's not rooted in somebody else. Now we could argue that he doesn't want to fight with Nancy, he doesn't want to fight with his teachers, but that's not included in that initial sentence. So let's try something else. Let's say instead of, I will not get into a fight, how about, I want to keep my cool in order to stay out of trouble with Mrs. Dodds. Now, that seems a little bit better than just, I will not get into a fight. But is it the best objective that we can find for Percy in this first chapter? That's your challenge for today. I want you to find an objective for one of the characters in the first chapter. It doesn't have to be Percy. It can be Grover or Mrs. Dodds or Mr. Brunner or Nancy. But I want you to find an objective for one of those characters that fits every level of our list. Once you've done that, and with your parents' permission, go ahead and post your answer in the comments below our Facebook post. Thanks for joining me today. Next time we'll be doing some physical exercises, so come ready to move. Until next time, have fun actors.